I recently found a YouTube short with 10 things you didn't know about Germany, and it seemed to me that this was the perfect opportunity for a little fact-checking. Especially since the person who made the video is a teacher. That just makes it double the fun for me. So, let's go. It is not considered illegal to try and escape from prison. This is technically true, but at the same time, it's basically impossible to escape without committing some sort of a crime. Digging a tunnel is property damage. Stealing a uniform is theft. Bribing a guard is, well, bribery. So, yeah, good luck with that one. There are more castles in Germany than there are McDonald's in the USA. There are currently 13,267 McDonald's restaurants in the US and an estimated 25 thousand castles. But let me show you something. There are at least two German words that can be translated into English as a castle, Schloss and Burg. And both of those words can describe a wide variety of different types of building. This is a Schloss. That, on the other hand, is a Burg, although currently it's being used as a courthouse. And this, believe it or not, is a schloss. A little more than a big house, now used as a museum, but a schloss. A small schloss still counts as one. This also counts as a schloss. It was originally a hunting lodge that just got bits added to it, and now it's a town hall. And then there is the tiny, ruined Burg that I visited last year, and countless places like it all over Germany. Basically, this fact is true only for a very generous definition of castle. Most of these places are what in Britain would be described as stately homes. Germany's Google Street View is very limited because the government was worried about privacy issues. Not really, no. It was more tabloid scaremongering that terrified the public, and the resulting public opposition eventually proved a bit too much for Google. Apple's new Look Around service hasn't had the same problem. Fanta was invented in Germany during World War II because of the Coca-Cola embargo. Fanta is actually made by Coca-Cola. What happened was that as the war interrupted supplies of ingredients, the company invented Fanta as a way of ensuring that it could continue operating in Germany. But it wasn't the Fanta that we know today. It was in fact made of, um, well, whey and apple pomace. Uh, basically, waste from the manufacture of other products. It was, after all, wartime. The familiar orange-flavoured Fanta was first made in Italy in 1955. The colours of the flag originated from the flag during the Holy Roman Empire. No, that's more likely a coincidence. It's believed that the colours originated in the uniform of the Luzzo Free Corps in the German campaign of 1813, and those colours were later adopted by revolutionaries fighting for a more modern democratic state, and they were definitely not fighting for the Holy Roman Empire. There are five German exclaves in Belgium and they are divided by a narrow path and this is due to the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. It wasn't the Versailles Treaty directly, but the result of an argument that it caused. The Tim Traveller made an excellent video about this a few years ago, so I've put a link in the description. Around 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are found from World War II every year. Well, that sounds very plausible. Virtually every important German city was reduced to piles of rubble. The number of bombs dropped was insane. Statistically speaking, if only a small percentage of them failed to detonate, that has to be tens of thousands of devices. Germany has the largest economy in Europe and is ranked fourth in the world. That depends on how you measure the size of an economy. Germany is fourth in the world by nominal GDP, but if, for example, you adjust the figures for purchasing power parity, Germany drops to fifth place. But in any case, I think we can be very certain that it is well inside the top 10. Most taxis in Germany are Mercedes-Benz. And why not? Mercedes-Benz makes very good cars that can take a lot of punishment and offer a lot in passenger comfort. Going by taxi is quite expensive. I think we can justify a little luxury. They were the first country to practice daylight savings. 
Oh yes, this one is absolutely true. In order to help with the war effort, both the German Empire and Austria-Hungary introduced daylight savings in 1916. However, the idea was first proposed by a New Zealander and an Englishman, so let's not put all the blame on the Germans. And there you have it. 10 things about Germany, most of which are commonly misrepresented on the internet, checked and corrected. You're welcome. <laughs> it was basically originally a hunting lodge, just, oh.